Good morning, Faith, and we do have a mix of cloud and sun. There is a couple of pockets of sunshine this morning. I know most notably in Greenville, uh, right at the Mississippi River Bridge, we're seeing some sun, but for the most part, we're going to see more clouds than sun throughout the day, and it is pretty mild. To start the morning, we're generally in the upper 50s across much of the delta, a little bit cooler to our south, which is kind of unusual. We're in the 50s around Jackson and Vicksburg. And we're not really going to warm up too, too much. About 10 degrees today into the mid to upper 60s. So it's going to be a relatively mild day. And as you head out the door this morning, Greenville, good morning. 57 degrees. That commute's looking good. We don't have any rain to worry about. And Greenwood, 57. Now, humidity is pretty high this morning. And that has a lot to do with all the moisture in the air. And taking a look at the national view, you can see this big swath of warm air. There's a warm front well to our north. And that's bringing in that warm Gulf of Mexico air too much of the eastern third of the country and then you can look to the west and really see where all the cold air is this morning. Three degrees in Billings, Montana, 18 in Denver and 31 in Oklahoma City and this cold air is going to be moving to our west relatively slowly. You can see this cold front. It'll eventually make its way into our area as we head into early Thursday morning and right now we're already seeing showers on the increase across much of the Gulf of Mexico. Still have these dense fog advisories for portions of central Alabama up into Tennessee, Nashville and Birmingham included. And there's not really a whole lot going on across the Delta and really the Magnolia State other than portions of the Pine Belt region and of course the coastal regions of Mississippi starting to see some heavier showers and looking a little closer to home this morning. Well, we're going to take a little. OK, OK, there we go. And we're going to look at this. I don't know what happened there, but we're having some clouds stream back in and you may see some clear areas where Greenville, Greenwood, you might see some sunshine right now up towards Clarksdale. We just seen on that traffic cam there was heavier cloud cover and these darker grays indicate heavier clouds and more high cloud cover and that will be moving in from the west. So you may see sunshine now, but it probably isn't going to hang around too long. And for the rest of the day, we're going to look pretty dry until about eight or nine. We'll see some showers start to move in and the coverage will increase as we head through tomorrow morning as a low pressure and a cold front is just off to our west and this will continue to move through. And as we go through the day on Wednesday, this is going to start to move through pretty slowly and we're going to have a chance to severe weather as we head into tomorrow and tomorrow afternoon into the evening hours and Thursday morning. We'll still see some showers left, but those are going to exit pretty quickly to the east as this cold front really shoots off to the east pretty quickly, which is good news for trick or treaters. You'll be able to trick or treat and don't have to worry about the rain, but you will have to worry about the cold. However, because we are going to get very cold, likely the coldest day we've seen in quite some time here across the Delta as you go trick or treating Thursday night into early Friday morning and high pressure will set back in and we will finally see that beautiful sunshine return to the Delta, but we will see that severe weather threat tomorrow from Houston, and Nashville, the main threat across our region, high winds and flooding. We've seen quite a bit of rain this year, especially this month. So keep that in mind as you're heading out the door tomorrow. Today we'll see a mix of sun and clouds in the morning, becoming mostly cloudy during the afternoon. Those showers will come in late with high temperatures in the mid to upper 60s and tonight we're not really going to cool off too much. It's going to be a mild night, low around 61, increasing showers during the overnight. It will be mostly cloudy tomorrow, setting the stage for a very warm day. Uh, considering what we'll see this week, thunderstorms will be likely and we could see those severe storms. So be sure to tune in tomorrow for a full look at that weather forecast and for your seven day man. We got rain the next couple of days, but finally we see sunshine return to the forecast faith and that's always exciting to see. And it's going to be pretty cold. I had to get the chili graphic out. 